What's going on everybody? David here back with another video. So we're going to do a stimulus package, stimulus check update, and we're going to talk about Nancy Pelosi. So Nancy Pelosi, uh, she made some some news yesterday, late yesterday, uh, talking about the $908 billion uh, stimulus package, the bipartisan stimulus package. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Joe Biden. So Joe Biden also made some news yesterday with with comments uh, regarding uh, this, this stimulus package that they're talking about uh, getting through Congress right now. Uh, Mitch McConnell, we're going to talk about him. We have not heard anything. We haven't heard a response uh, to Nancy Pelosi. So we'll we'll talk about all that. And then when could we potentially see another stimulus package? That's what we're going to talk about. It might be sooner than you think. So those are the things we're going to talk about today. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification, that way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So Nancy Pelosi, she said that she is on board for the framework. Now, it's important she said framework of the $908 billion bipartisan proposal. So she likes, she wants to use this as a framework. And right now, just understand this $908 billion bipartisan proposal, it's still in the early stages. They still need to put the language in there. The language is not there yet. That's why we saw the little bullet points, uh, because we do not have language when it comes down to this this proposal. And so this bipartisan group has, has indicated that they're going to start working on the language and have something by next week. And so... Uh, that's where we are when it comes to to that. Now, Nancy Pelosi jumping on board means a lot because she has come down from that two point two trillion down to less than a trillion when it comes to another stimulus package. Now, we're going to talk about the reasons why she probably did this, uh, but nonetheless, she has come down. And so, when we're looking at the whole situation. And when we take in the fact that, and we'll talk about Joe Biden right now, when we take in the fact that Joe Biden yesterday said that this stimulus package that they're working on right now is only a down payment. So there's more to come, is what Joe Biden is saying. So we're going to start with this, and then we're going to move forward. And I think the talks that Joe Biden had with Nancy Pelosi and with Chuck Schumer has gotten Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to kind of loosen up a little bit when it comes to this stimulus package here. Let's get something done. And Joe Biden has been saying this, get something done now, and then we'll move forward once he he comes into office. And so now I don't know how much power he's going to have. It's, it's all up to the Senate. This is all up to Georgia at this point, because if you have Mitch McConnell still as the leader in the Senate, not a lot is going to get done. And and that's unfortunate, but that's that's kind of the way things are. That's what we've been seeing. So it's going to be important to see what happens in Georgia. So if you have both Democratic senators winning those elections, well, now we're looking at a whole different situation where Joe Biden will pretty much be able to do whatever he wants when it comes to another stimulus package. But he said that this is a down payment, so there will be more. So that puts uh, that should put more people at ease when it comes down to it because this 908 billion dollar framework this stimulus package that they're talking about right now it's doesn't have stimulus checks and that concerns a lot of people it doesn't have hazard pay that concerns a lot of people so now that we're looking at the situation the way it is and we know that joe biden at least wants to do more when it comes down to it maybe this is something that could potentially get passed uh, this $908 billion uh, stimulus package. At least you can start working on the the small businesses, the PPP funding, uh, have some type of enhanced unemployment uh, for those who are unemployed. Uh, by the way, today, uh, the jobless claims are 712,000. Uh, so, and that's down a little bit, but still, we're, 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 we have, these numbers are still huge when it comes down to the, the jobless claims. So there are over 20 million people at this point that are receiving some type of unemployment insurance. So we are still not out of the woods. We're looking at cases spiking all over the country when it comes to COVID-19. So we, we, we still have a long way to go. Now, Mitch McConnell has not responded to Nancy Pelosi yet. So the, the whole thing, and 
and I talked about this a couple of videos ago when it comes down to the the, the game that they're playing. And this is a, this is this is a game at this point. It's unfortunate, but this is kind of the, you know they're playing chess at this point. Uh, so we saw the bipartisan proposal come out, the nine hundred eight billion dollar proposal come out, and then soon after that, Mitch McConnell brought out bullet points, his proposal that that he wanted to get through, and Nancy Pelosi sent a letter to Mitch McConnell that had her proposal, uh, which we never saw, and so. Mitch McConnell has this proposal and Stephen Mnuchin yesterday said that President Trump wants to go with Mitch McConnell's proposal. So Mitch McConnell at this point wants to bring his proposal to the floor. His proposal doesn't have enhanced unemployment. His proposal doesn't have stimulus checks. And it's as far as the money, it's gone down from the skinny bill. I think that Nancy Pelosi is open to the framework of this $908 billion because she wants to bring Mitch McConnell to the table. So if she has some Republicans that are supporting a proposal that she supports, then it can bring Mitch McConnell to the table and they can start negotiating and, and start working out some of the, the fine details when it comes down to it. Uh, but it's very, very interesting that that Nancy Pelosi came down to this $908 billion. So we'll have to see what proposal gets voted on by the Senate. Now, we do have a deadline on December 11th, so the budget. They need to talk about the omnibus bill. Are they going to do a continued resolution or not? And some are saying that they want to put this all together. So some of the politicians are saying they want to put it all together, have a stimulus package, plus uh, do the, the budget talks, do the continued resolution, do it all at the same time. So December 11th being the deadline, they would have to do it right before December 11th or on December 11th. Uh, so that's that's what we're expecting right now. So we might even see a stimulus package. Now this stimulus package might not have everything in it. However, I'm hoping they bring the stimulus checks back in there. Uh, you need that to stimulate the economy, especially right now. It, ju it just makes sense. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see where they go with, with all this. But Mitch McConnell has not said anything yet. So we'll have to see what he says about it and what he wants to bring to the floor. Because as the leader, as the Senate majority leader, he has the power to bring whatever bill to the floor that he wants. And so if he does not want to bring this $908 billion bill to the floor, he doesn't have to bring it to the floor and it will never get voted on. So we'll, we'll have to see. He's going to start getting some pressure now because now that Nancy Pelosi said that she's on board for it, you're going to have more Democrats on board for it. And you have Republicans already on board for it uh, because of the bipartisan uh, proposal. So we, we might see some pressure on Mitch McConnell, finally see some pressure on Mitch McConnell uh, to do something more than what he wants to do, what he's been asking for with his, his proposal. Uh, so I went over all the proposals. I'll post a link up here so you guys can check it out. So if you guys are curious about uh, Mitch McConnell's proposal or the bipartisan proposal, uh, check out that link. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. So let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.